Hey everybody, it's Matt from You and Your Horror Movies, and welcome to another end of the month haul for the month of July. Sorry it's a little late, I had to work several days, couldn't get a day off, so I finally got a day. So, these are all the films I picked up. Yeah, of course I went a little overboard like I always do, I need to slow down because my room is starting to get filled. I mean, I'm starting to run out of room on my walls, which is pretty freaky. But, a lot of these I had to pick up just because they're upgrades, or... Uh, just because I had to have them, or they were just really dirt cheap. Now, also, too, I apologize if my camera's shaky. My cat's right behind it, doing her thing, and, of course, it's shaking the table. It drives me nuts. So, without further ado, hopefully I can get flu through this and get them all out. First one is Abnormal uh, Beauty. The Abnormal Beauty by Tarn Age and Extreme. I've been starting to collect a lot of these Tarn Age and Extreme films. They've been really cool. Don't know much about this movie, so I said, you know what, let's give that one a watch. Alien Predators. This happens to be uh, also known as The Falling. I almost bought the DVD-R of this movie by Warner Brothers Archive Collection. Glad I held off. It's a pretty cool uh, alien creature feature slash, you know, it's all done with uh, practical effects. Yeah. I remember watching it when I was little. I liked it. The weird scene with the cow and the dogs. Yeah. Ancient Evil, I think this is kind of like a mummy slasher type film. Now, don't get me wrong on that, but we'll see. I know there's a couple of them out there. And I, heard, I heard the sequel is not the greatest, but I want to get the first one and check it out. So, why not? Backlot Murders. Uh, I upgraded this from the DVD uh, put up by uh, Code Red. <laughs> um, this is, by, I think, by Dark Force Entertainment, their special Blu-rays. Uh Great film, cool slasher, takes place on movie sets. Uh, the Jaws, not Jaws, the Psycho set is one of the main sets. There's a couple other sets that take place on. They're shooting a music video, and someone dressed up as this rockabilly outfit is going around killing people. Pretty cool little flick. Good high, really high body count. Kind of surprised. Everyone gets killed, <laughs> just about. I'm not saying everybody. Uh, one of the ones I found at Soundgarden. And that is called Battlefield Baseball. I was reading the synopsis on this thing. This looks batshit nuts. Uh, looks like it's baseball with ghosts and ghouls. And they have to fight. I don't know. It's an Asian horror film. So who knows what to expect. They said it's people like in Halloween costumes going around killing people. I don't know. It just looks batshit crazy. So why not? One of the ones from Soundgarden. Dollar Tree has a lot of films for for like a dollar, and this was actually on my Amazon wish list, so I figured why not. Big Man Japan, this happens to be a spoof on kaiju films. It is a kaiju movie, but they make fun of other kaiju movies. It's kind of weird. The monsters look really bizarre looking and just fucked up weird looking, and this guy has to, he grows into a big ass dude to fight these monsters. Yeah. Pig Man Japan. That's funny as hell. From a antique store, I found uh, Black Sun, The Nate King Massacre, put up by Unearthed, Ener Unearthed Films. I uh, saw it there, I'm like, oh, I didn't see a price tag on it. So I asked the lady at the counter. She goes, well, no price tag. How will I sell it to you for a buck? I'm like, okay. <laughs> I guess it's one of those mocky, mocky films of Prisoners of War. I heard it's pretty fucked up. Like the men behind the sun and everything. So, yeah. Cool white case. So I'll give this one a check to see how this goes. I like how it's sideways. It's kind of neat. Blood Theater by Vinegar Syndrome. And it comes with uh, another film here too. The Visitants. I mostly got it for Blood Theater. Love that slipcover. So yeah. I've never seen it before. Heard it's like a slasher in a movie theater. Okay. Finally getting a hold of uh, Bloody Murder 1. I have part 2. Um, I tried buying part 1 and they sent me an 8-pack that has them all on there and some weird-ass goofy movies. Some I already have on single releases, so I kind of figured, let me grab a single release of Bloody Murder. Yeah, it was hard to find. I don't know why. I think it's probably the Arctesian films are getting a little harder to get a hold of. So I decided, well, I found one cheap. Let me grab it really quick. So yeah, Bloody Murder, the final of the first one. The spoofs on the, the Jason films, pretty much, I guess. But it's a serious slasher film. 
Never seen it, so I'll give it a watch. I always held off watching part two because I need to watch part one. Uh, another Tarn Asian Extreme, Bloody Reunion. I heard this was pretty batshit crazy. So yeah, this is from Soundgarden. Big Legend, uh, a Bigfoot movie. It was alright. Uh, the ending was better. It kind of leads into more stuff. I could have used the body count. Um, some people do die, but if you're having a Bigfoot film, you kind of need some more death. Other than that, it was okay. It was an okay watch. I did it. Bus Party to Hell. <laughs> uh, got Tara Reid in it and everything. So we'll see how this goes. It looks funny as hell from the trailer. So I said, oh, what the hell, I'll pick it up. Bus Party to Hell. Uh, another Tarnation Nation Extreme from Soundgarden. Carved the uh, Slit, slit Mouth Woman. I always had this on my Amazon wish list. And never picked it up. This was cheap on there. So I, of course, grabbed it. Gotta give this a watch. Another one where I have part one, but I don't have part two. And that is a Chrome Skull laid to rest. So, laid to rest two. So, the first one was good. I gotta see how they bring them back. Because it's just really weird. From Severin, I uh, grabbed Combat Shock. Uh, I was very on the fence about buying this. I got one... My number there, 1511 out of 2000. I don't know what it was. I think it sounds like a post apocalyptic or like a guy with uh, PSTD. But I guess it is a horror film. And it was very limited. It was, getting, it was selling out quick, possibly. It's like, you know what? Let me jump on it and pick it up. So, haven't watched it yet. But I know Severn does a great job with their transfers. So, Combat Shock. And it came with this cool big ass booklet. And inside the booklet, grab it real quick, a little movie cell. So yeah, I thought that was pretty neat. So cool scrapbook on Combat Shock. Some fun to add to the collection. Uh, contamination uh, convention story. I think it's all about going like different type of sci-fi, horror cons, and all that kind of stuff. Documentary. It's DVDR. Uh, I found it cheap on Amazon. So, we'll give it a watch to see how this is. I love my convention movies and uh, especially their uh, documentaries. So, I'll give this one a watch. But I got my hands on one, and that is Darkness, the Vampire Story. Uh, sorry for the glare. Uh, this is not the two disc, unfortunately. This is just the, the one disc edition. So, I was just very happy to find one. These are out of print and hard to find. There was one on eBay and on Amazon that came up cheap, and I grabbed it. I jumped on it really fast. So I was very happy to finally own Darkness, the vampire version. I heard this is gory as hell. Another, here's some uh, Soundgarden pickups. Dead End, I heard this is a cool uh, horror film that takes place on Christmas. I think I remember seeing this I, a long time ago. I gotta remember to rewatch it then. Uh, Dead Man's Shoes. This looks batshit crazy. I've heard some people talking about this one. I think it's an Irish horror film. Guy goes crazy and decides to go after those who killed his brother. I think. So yeah, Dead Man's Shoes. Uh, Despiser. Tiki. Watch it, girl. Uh, Despiser is made from the near 2000s. It's got horrible CGI. About people trying to escape hell. Uh, look at that right there. <laughs> uh, this just looked crazy. I've always had this kind of on my hint list. Maybe to check it out someday. So I finally just said, you know what, screw it. Just pick it up. It's dirt cheap. We'll see how it goes. I've heard some mixes on this movie. I think it's got a cult following. I don't know exactly sure. Finally, Devilfish. Uh, also known as Monster Shark. Uh, I think it also goes by the name of Killer Waves, I think it is, or something, uh, I forgot the other name of it, but something Waves. But Italian flick, fun as hell, monster movie, shark with, you know, tentacles, got dolphin DNA, octopus DNA, just, it's slow, but it builds up and it's great. When they show what a thing looks like, oh, it's awesome. So happy when that got out Blu-ray. I jumped on that. 
Like I've had it in my bootleg edition for quite some time. Got rid of that. Uh, next is another Soundgarden. That's called The Devil's Business by Mondo Macabro. Uh, I heard, again, Moods talking about this one. He really likes this movie a lot. And this is a double disc DVD and Blu-ray. I heard it's pretty badass, so I can't wait to give this one a watch. Another Mondo Macabro Blu-ray. Doom Asylum. Oh, this movie is just bad, but it's fun. Uh, it's, a, it's a weird slasher. Never even heard of this movie until Errol released it. After watching it, yeah, just so bad acting, bad storyline, but fun flick. Uh, it's definitely a turn your brain off watch movie. Uh, picked up Drive Angry. Yeah, because kind of see this is a horror film. Tiki, come on. It's a you know religious cult and. Uh, Nicholas Cage comes out of hell to kill the cult for killing his daughter and stealing their, stealing her baby. Then they're going to sacrifice the baby to the devil. So, this was pretty badass. The, the violence was great. Cards are awesome. So, do you know what? This is definitely going in the collection. Drive angry. Another one from uh, Soundgarden, which I was shocked to see it on the list. And I just grabbed it really quick and put it in my hands. And that is the Ebola Syndrome. This is another one that's out of print and very hard to find. Found this for $5.99 at Soundgarden. And I said, that's mine. I know a lot of people saying they're still after this movie. And, uh, yeah. Never seen it before. I know Derek talks about it a lot. DeBougie86. He talks this movie. He had like an Ebola Syndrome shirt and everything. <laughs> but... Yeah, find it to add it to the collection. Uh, Enter the Devil, put out by Massacre Video. Cool slip case. And uh, again, I blind bought this movie a long time ago. And it said it was going to get released, not released, get released, not released. Finally got released, so I'm very happy in my collection of being very patient. And a lot of people were complaining, where is it? So just got to be patient with some things. I'm glad I was. Paid off. Uh, I don't remember where I got this one. I think Soundgarden or a, or a um, another antique store. And that's The Eye with Jessica Elba. So, don't much about it. This happens to be the two-disc special edition uh, movie. Let's get all that stupid shit in there. But yeah, two-disc The Eye. If anybody's seen it, let me know. I like Jessica Elba, so... Probably the reason why I picked it up. <laughs> picked up Fisted. This is put up by DWN Productions. Uh, they mostly have a company for masks and prosthetics and uh, movie props and everything. So they put out their film. Uh, this looks pretty cool. We've got a guy with dynamite in his blood. <laughs> yes, and also there's, supposedly there's giant killer ants in this movie. I don't know. Got an intrigued down it, so I'll give this one a watch. A lot to watch. Uh, finally getting Ginger Snaps back. This is the third one in the trilogy. So now I got all the Ginger Snaps movies. Good old Soundgarden. And this one from Soundgarden. Uh, Horrors of a Malformed Man. Now I think Errol's putting this out on Blu-ray. So I saw the Vinegar Syndrome. Court. No, this is Synapse. Synapse put it out. After I bought it, they said that Arrow's now printed out on Blu-ray. Go figure. But you know what? It's got a lot of features to it on here. And I know Synapse does a great job with their DVDs. And it's got reverse cover art in there. All Asian and whatnot. So, yeah, I'm very happy with the DVD. So we'll see how that goes. This one's from an uh, pawn shop. House of the Devil. This with Buck. So I'm like, what the hell, why not? Blind buy. I heard it was actually pretty interesting. <clears throat> Itchy, the prequel to Itchy the Killer. This was another one that I think at Soundgarden I picked up. They're cheap. Uh, Incident at Loch Ness. Picked this one up on eBay for dirt cheap. I decided to pick up a bunch of Loch Ness horror movies. And this was one of them. I think it's like a mockumentary. Uh, I think it's out of print. So I scored it kind of cheap, so I was very happy to find it cheap. 
Uh, if anybody's seen it, let me know. This looks pretty interesting. Invasion, one of those uh, make fun of the 50s films. I think this was a made-for-TV movie. Not exactly sure. Saw it cheap on Amazon, so I picked it up. If anybody's seen it, let me know. Tiki Stop. <clears throat> Not stopping again. Uh, Juwan White and Juwan Black. Uh, this one I got from Soundgarden as well. This was all on one disc, as you can see there. Uh, I, think this, I don't know if this is the third in the Juwan series, the third and the fourth. I'm not exactly sure, but I thought, you know what? Let me grab some of the Juwan stuff. I like, I had the first two. Another dollar store pickup, Jurassic Attack. This just looks stupid. And you know what? I paid a dollar for it. So if it sucks, it's only a buck. Uh, Kill Baby Kill. This is from the Mario Baba collection from Kino. So I'm to pick up more of his stuff. So I'm kind of excited to check this movie out. Don't bite. Uh, Killer Bees with uh, C. Thomas Howell. It's like, you know what? Get some more Killer Bee action. <laughs> I don't know. Add more Killer Beats in the mix. And I picked up another one called Killer Bees. This one is an Asian horror flick with killer wasps or whatnot. So I'm like, oh, what the hell? Why not? So get some more Killer Bees in the mix. Uh, Loch Ness Terror. Again, picking up more Loch Ness horror movies. <laughs> this was actually a lot of fun from Sci-Fi Channel. You know how the goodies are. Uh, the Lost Treasure of the Grand Canyon. This is another, I think, sci-fi channel flick. Uh, I remember seeing this one on on sci-fi and liking it. It's a fun little creature feature. CGI, but you know what? They're fun. They're turn your brain off fun. Documentary. Uh, Monsters of the, of the Sea by History Channel. Again, this was out of print, and I found one cheap online, so I snagged it. Uh, I just love that artwork with a giant crack and attack in the sailboat. Yeah. I know you know. Had to grab it. Pinocchio's Revenge. I don't know. Goofy shit. <laughs> Primal Rage. This movie was a lot of fun. This was a better, like a Bigfoot slash movie than the other one. It's even got some Native American folklore to it. Uh, great practical effects. Good gore. Good kills. Steelbook of Quiet Place. Finally get to finally watch this movie. Why not? And of course, Steelbook of Rampage. Love it. Just Rampage is so much fun. Uh, picked up Red Planet. <laughs> yeah, it's a sci-fi, uh, but it's got a killer robot in it. It's got killer plant life in this movie. They're trying to repopulate Mars. I remember watching this in the theater back when it first came out. I liked it. So yeah. I picked up Red Planet. Had the first one, so I grabbed the rest stop two just to see how they are. Another one from Soundgarden, Ringu Zero. So all I now need is Ringu Part 2, and I have all the Ringu movies. So, gotta check this one out. That's once I get them all. Picked up The River. This is a TV show that only lasts, I think, eight episodes. It's like a found footage show where they're trying to find a uh, professor lost in some kind of, I forgot where, where exactly where they were. And of course the jungle keeps changing. They're finding bodies hanging on a tree. Didn't last long, so but you know what? let me grab this for now and see how this goes. Something to watch. That's going to fall. Uh, rodents. <laughs> Fun ass. Killer Rad Flick. I watched it last night. Really enjoyed it. Rush Week. Uh, slasher film. 80s. It's like Animal House meets a, uh, a slasher. It's kind of weird. Upgrade. Seas of Destruction. Another sci-fi channel about giant killer roots. I upgraded the DVD. Terror for Tom had it. I'm like, they had a Blu-ray? Went online. Yes, they do. All right. Let's upgrade. Shocking Dark. Uh, I heard this is a pretty batshit crazy creature feature. Uh, I'm actually happy I did not get the slipcover. Because I called it Terminator 2. I had to turn, put it in the Terminator section. 
I love this artwork. It's all hidden by that weird, slocky Terminator 2 slip. So I'm very happy to own it just like this. Yeah, Shock and Dark by Severin. Love the black case. I got to love that artwork. Spliced, another weird type of slasher movie. I want to say from the early 2000s. Actually, wasn't bad. Uh, Tale of the Mummy, but I wanted it for Beneath the Loch Ness. Uh, double feature, another Loch Ness horror film. So I got a two for one deal. I don't know anything about Tales from the Mummy, but Beneath the Loch Ness is a lot of fun. Had a grab and found that Soundgarden, dirt cheap. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the 40th edition. I had the 30th Steelbook, guess what? I got the 40th now. <laughs> uh, to Helen Beck, the Kane Hodder story. Awesome documentary. I loved it a lot. I actually teared at some points because the storyline is sad. Toxic Shark. I had to. Badass Shark movie. It actually comes with two other films. Beneath the Mississippi and Croczilla. And uh, they put it all on two discs. So yeah. But I wanted it for Toxic Shark. You know me with my stupid shark movies. Yeah. I did it. Truth or Dare. It was okay. Wasn't, you know, overly excited about it. But it was a fun watch. Nothing, you know, it's been done before. But for what it is, what it is. Uh, another Wolf Cop. Yeah, Tiki. And uh, it was fun. I like the Wolf Cop movies. I hope they do a third one. Uh, would You Rather. Uh, my friend's been telling me to pick this up. Watch it. It's got Jeffrey Combs in it. You know, what people do... For money and everything. So, yeah. Almost done, guys. Yukari Monsters. This one is, uh, along with Ghost, this is the first one in the series. There's three of them, and they're hard to find. So, I'm going to try to grab these ones. I need one more. I need part two. So, once I have part two, I got all the Yukari Monster movies. And, of course, I had to get the Yukari War. Well, it's the Great Yukari War. Uh, by done by Takashi Miike by Tokyo Shock. I guess it's the remake of these films. Give it a shot. And last but not least, I grabbed it. Zombie Ass. Toilet of the Dead. What a title. <laughs> I don't know. I heard this looks batshit crazy. You know how these Asian movies are. So yeah, this is another Tokyo Shock film. To me, does that look like it's all photocopied? It just the artwork looks weird to me. But anyway, that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed my end of the month haul. Please let me know in the comments down below your thoughts. i uh, love to hear about them, guys. Thanks very much for watching. If you haven't, please like and subscribe. All right, guys. Peace.